This is Gene Key, KDD News. $57 million has been approved to fund projects to fix congested highways and old bridges in the Texas Panhandle. It's all part of $3 billion approved by the Texas Transportation Commission to rehabilitate bridges, address congested highways, and improve connectivity between the state's metropolitan areas. In the Amarillo District, the money will be used to improve trade connections on the Ports to Plains Corridor. That includes US 87, US 277, and State Highway 349. Existing lanes on US 87 in Hartley and Moore counties will be rebuilt just east of US 385 to the new railroad overpass here in Dumas. Passing lanes will also be added. The estimated cost of this project is $20.3 million. John Barton of the Texas Department of Transportation Interim Executive Director said, We intend to deliver impressive results. A little good news from Valero Wednesday. The Associated Press reported Tuesday on the possible loss of millions of dollars by local Texas governments and school districts, including Dumas and Moore County. If Governor Rick Perry sides with the Texas refineries, a tax credit due Valero refineries will be paid back through 2007. Valero stated in a press release yesterday morning it has not yet reached an agreement with the Moore County Appraisal District on its 2010 valuation of the Valero McKee refinery, but Valero is engaged in discussions and believes an agreement is possible. If the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality grants its exemption request, Valero will only apply the exemption going forward, not back to 2007. At current valuation, this is worth $4.8 million a year to the Dumas Independent School District. Valero's application remains pending with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. This is Gene Key, KDD News.